Hey YouTube. So I just got my new champion uh, inverted generator. So I wanted to do a, a quick uh, review of uh, my new generator. Plus I installed the US carburation tri-fuel kit and um, I put a little hour um, uh, tachometer meter on it as well. Um, I just bought this a few days ago, actually last week, because I did have um, um, one of their other champion um, uh, generators. I think it was the model number 100110, and I think it was a 9200 uh, continuous uh, running watt generator. This one, I actually downsized, and it's a 7000 watt uh, continuous um, uh, running inverter generator. So I wanted to go with an inverter generator because um, for some reason, when I was running my other generator uh, towards the end, all of my battery backups at my house were flipping out and they were going crazy. And, you know, and I talked to a couple of my friends who are electricians. So then they were talking to me about, you know, about the um, 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 uh, THD, your um, uh, total harmonic distortion problem that um, you know a lot of generators have anyway so I didn't want to run the risk of, uh, of damaging any of my um, high-end toys in my house like my OLED TV or my home theater system so I decided okay I'm gonna sell my regular generator and I'm gonna downsize and I'm gonna get an inverter generator um, I would have bought a bigger inverter generator but this one was pretty much um, the uh, largest uh, inverted generator that I could find. So, um, luckily though, I've already done a lot of testing with it and um, I can pretty much run everything out of my house, um, you know, as I would if we had uh, grid power. Um, the only reason why I can do that is because um, um, I've got a regular HVAC uh, four ton um, air conditioning heat pump system, but, I don't ever use it because um, I also have installed four uh, mini split air conditioning heat pump systems as well. And um, for anyone who, uh, who doesn't know this, um, uh, mini split systems use very, very uh, little um, uh, power compared to uh, regular uh, HVAC systems. So pretty much what that means is that I can run my entire, all four mini splits, you know, my TV, my home theater, of course lights, um, even the, my uh, um, hybrid water heater, which um, uh, doesn't use a lot of power either, all at the same time on this generator, believe it or not. So this one, like it says, it's an it's a inverted generator. This one is the model number 100520, 105.20. Um, so this is pretty much what it looks like on this side. Um, I'm going to turn it around. In case if you're wondering why I'm sitting on the floor, um, if you've ever watched any of my other videos, I'm in a wheelchair. So it's much, much easier just for me to sit on the floor and show you something like this rather than me trying to move the camera around while I'm uh, pushing myself in the wheelchair and holding the camera. So basically, this is the front of it here. So you've got your standard plugs, uh, of course your you know, uh, your start button. This has an eco mode button. So pretty much what that means is that when you activate eco mode, it slows down the RPMs of the generator a little bit and it's supposed to make it quieter. This thing isn't quiet. So they were, um, my guess is, is that they were trying to go uh, after the uh, Honda inverter generators, which are uh, pretty quiet. But in my opinion, it's never gonna happen because Honda, they just, they've got that stuff licked pat. I mean, but there was no way that I was gonna spend $4,500 for their uh, EU 7000 IS, I think is what the model is, which would be the one that would be very comparable to this one. That's insane. If I'm gonna spend $4,500, I'm gonna go ahead and spend a couple more thousand and just buy a whole home generator. Anyways. So this one, I mean, it is a little bit quieter than my other one that I had, my regular uh, generator. Um, but 
it's not much quieter. So anyway, so you've got your four 120 volt outlets and then you've got your, uh, what do they call this? The LR1430 plug, which is what I use. So basically I have everything hardwired. My generator is normally gonna live uh, in the, you know, in my backyard, in my shed where I had the other one, um, simply because next to my backyard shed, I've got a 100 gallon propane tank. And I'll show you the propane kit that I put on this in just a second. Um, obviously it can run on gasoline, but we, um, you know, you know, to me that, that is crazy. You having to stock up on who knows how many gallons of gasoline if you have to run the, uh, one of these things 24 seven for days, you know, at a time, I, I'm not going to do that. That's crazy. You know, propane burns cleaner. It's not, it's not any cheaper than gas. It's probably a little bit more expensive, but it's a hell of a lot more convenient. And the shelf life of propane is, is a 15, 20 years, they say. So all I have to do is hook this up to my propane uh, tank, hook up the cable to my, um, uh, to my main breaker box and I'm up and running. And I don't have to worry about refilling my uh, propane tank for at least four days. So, so anyway, so to get back to the generator, um, again, you've got your, your L1430 um, uh, 120 or 240 plug, your two uh, uh, 120 volt plugs. This is what they call the IntelliGauge. So basically once this is running, you can, it'll show you the frequency of the generator It'll show you the hours, total uh, a running time of the generator um, accumulated, and then it'll show you the voltage of the, of the output as well. Um, of course, you have your choke here, which I'll never use because you don't use choke when you're running uh, propane. And like I said, you've got your eco, eco mode here, which I'll probably never use that either. These are your little indicator lights. Uh, green means everything okay. Red is obviously there's, it's either overloaded or there's some kind of a, of a wiring problem. And of course, uh, low oil. And then you've got your two 120 uh, circuit breakers. So then I'm gonna turn around. Not much really here to see other than I love this. So this basically, I've already changed the oil three times. Um, I ran, the, uh, I ran the generator for the first hour, I changed the oil, I ran it again for another two hours, I changed the oil, and then at five hours, I changed the oil again, and then I put Mobile One Synthetic. Um, I always run Mobile One Synthetic on all my generators. The, these things, they run so hot and they work so hard, to me, I'm not taking any chances uh, with running uh, regular oil and something like this. So, basically, you've got this little Thing here, unloosen that, you take off the cap, drain it, fill it, done deal. So let me just put that back. And then here is where the magic is. So this is my US carb tri fuel kit. Um, now this is where I put my hour meter tack meter as well. Um, because uh, the only real reason why I even put one on here was because um, when I was doing the fine tuning of the adjustment on the propane, they say that you wanna get it to um, as close to uh, 35, 3600 RPMs as possible. Normal generators constantly run at 3600 RPMs but inverter generators, this one anyway, uh, anyway uh, runs anywhere between 34 to 35, uh, 3600 RPMs. So basically I use this, um, my tack meter, to fine tune the mixture on the propane. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not on the camera, but your propane comes in here and then there's the little, it's what they call the snorkel adapter. And it goes basically in between the air filter and the carb itself. But I'm a huge fan of these things. They're kind of pricey to some people. Um, 
This one I think was like $180. Um, I've seen YouTube videos where people buy the cheaper kits, um, but then they have to adapt this or they've got to screw around with that. And to me, this is my second tri-fuel kit that I bought from US Carb and I'll always buy their kits because they, they work. And um, so as you can see, I mounted it right here on the hole or I uh, mean on the frame, sorry. Super easy, all I had to do was I made two holes here. It doesn't really look that much out of place and it just, it works very, very good. So that's that. I'm gonna flip it around again. And of course this is the side of it. So pretty much uh, you can see, now they call this the open frame inverters. So basically what that means, it's obviously in it's an open frame. It's not sitting inside a box like the Hondas. Um, again, pretty much once you start getting into a, a bigger inverted generator like this, I think they're all pretty much open frame except for the Honda. Um, I think that this is a good idea to have it uh, open frame like this because at least you've got air that's able to get all around there. Um, these are the heat sinks on the inverter that's underneath the gas tank. Um, ironically enough though, I, I exercised this thing for about an hour the other day when I was running everything and um, it doesn't get too hot. So like I said, I, I like the idea of it being open frame where air can air can circulate much better than uh, you know it sitting in a you know in a, in a small square box where it has very very limited air air movement so do I like the generator no I love the generator I'm a I'm a really big fan of the champion power equipment generators because um, um, you know to me they have awesome reviews on the internet and um, and uh, they're very reasonably priced for what you get. Um, yes, again, you know, I could have bought a Honda, but that's just, that's too expensive for me. So this is my generator. I'm gonna post uh, a couple of videos or a couple of um, uh, short videos here in a second of, uh, of, me running the uh, of me running the generator. And also I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, show a video of this little box that I made. So this is a little project box that I bought from Amazon. I think it was like $22. And what it is is I've got these two little electric meters that are able to read volts, amps, and watts. I put a male end here and I put a female end here. So what I do is, when I hook everything up, I, I do some testing, even though I've already done it multiple times, I still like to do testing to make sure that I'm not overloading this. So pretty much, I've got a 10 foot cord that I plug between this and this. And then I've got a 50 amp cord, even though this is only 30, you can never go, you can never hurt anything by having too big. Too small, yes, not too big. So then I've got an adapter that plugs in here that will let it, front, uh, let it run from a 50 amp uh, cable. And that, of course, is hooked up to my shed, which, of course, is hooked up directly to my uh, outdoor breaker box. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Kind of a little bit messy, but I tried to make it as nice as possible. So again, these are the two meters. This is one of the 120 legs, and then this is another 120 leg. And then these are the little CT meters that read the power going through there. And I put these little quick disconnects on there, so if I, I needed to unplug the power going to them, I could, and not really have to take a lot of stuff apart. 
but I know this might look a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit um, a ghetto to some people, but it works really good and it's safe. Um, 30 amps, I think technically it only requires um, 10 gauge wire, but this right here, I used eight gauge through here because again, I wanted a little bit thicker wire. I just close that. this and that's my little meter box so to speak okay so in closing I love the generator it works really really good and um, I'm hoping I ever never really have to use it um, but we live uh, in the Central Florida area and of course, where uh, you know hurricanes are, you know, a pretty much a normal threat for us. So, um, if anybody's ever lived through a hurricane uh, without uh, having air conditioning or power in the Florida heat or anywhere where it's hot, it's miserable. It's absolutely miserable. And uh, I'll never go through that again. We did it one time, and and that was one time too many. So. Other than that, that's about it. Again, I love my generator. Um, and again, I'm gonna post a, a, a couple of videos of uh, me running the generator. And um, hopefully you like this video. If you found it useful, um, a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, give me a thumbs down. That's your choice. But, you know, I try to make these uh, videos as, uh, as informative as I, as I can. So uh, maybe I can help somebody out in the future. All right, you guys take care and have a good weekend.